Welcome. So what I want to do today is show you how to write an equation using our slope intercept form, which I did right up here, which is y equals mx plus b for parallel lines. So we're going to first need to actually understand exactly what parallel lines are. So when we're looking at a graph, what we've talked about so far is just graphing a regular linear equation. And let's say we have a line that's going to look something like this. All right, now with that line, so far what we've talked about is we talked about there's two important points. There's our y-intercept, which we represent by our value of b. And there's also our slope, which is the change in our y-coordinates to our change in our x-coordinates between any two points on our line. And that slope is constant for a linear equation or a line on a graph. It doesn't matter what two points I pick, your slope is always going to be the same. The change in the y-coordinates over the change in the x-coordinates is going to be constant. So when we're talking about parallel lines, what we're talking about is another line that is going to be parallel to that line, meaning it's going to have the exact same rate of change. So an example of a parallel line, I'll try to do my best here, would look like this line in the pink. Now, one thing to notice about this is parallel lines do not have the same y-intercept. Their value of b is not the same. If their value of b was the same, then the lines would be exactly the same because the rate of change, let's see, try maybe pick two points. The rate of change, the change in the y-coordinates over the change in the x-coordinates, is exactly the same for parallel lines, meaning their m is going to be exactly the same. So when you have parallel lines, the one thing we need to understand and make sure that we remember is parallel lines' slopes are exactly the same. And the reason being is because parallel lines are not going to touch. As they go up, they go over. So they're going to keep on going up with that same rate of change. So they're never, ever going to intersect. And that's very, very important for us to remember. Because when we're going to be finding, if I'm going to be given a line and I'm going to want to find a line that's parallel to that line, the one important thing that I need to understand is, one, that the slopes have to be the exact same. And the y-intercepts are going to be different. Because if the, if the slopes were the same and the y-intercepts were the same, then you'd have exactly the same line. So the y-intercepts have to be different. However, the slopes will be the same. So we're going to get into a little bit of the process of how we're going to do this. And I'll show you some examples um, of what we're going to do. So let's uh, just get into it. But I just wanted to kind of give you a quick little demonstration or reminder, at least, of what exactly your parallel lines are. Thanks.